Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video for you guys and we are organizing my lactation station. Um, I'm excited. That sounded funny, lactation station. But I am excited because I have a bunch of stuff that I needed to put together and I was going to do it and then show you. But then I figured, you know what, let's just do it together. Um, and then I uh, don't know exactly what I need. I watched a bunch of videos and I think it's okay what I got. So we're going to stock some of these items in here and you guys can let me know if I need anything else. Uh, which most likely I will. You guys have sent me tons of tips. So I do appreciate that. So thank you. But before we get started, I just want to like do a shameful plug for my channel. Make sure you are subscribed and make sure to thumbs up this video. It does help my algorithm. And also, if you guys are already subscribed and watching, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I super appreciate you guys taking your time and watching my hopefully somewhat helpful videos for you guys. So let's get started. And one first things first. Um, I decided to go for a little cart, oh, my slippers are in the way, um, to organize my lactation stuff. So this is a three-tier cart. Um, you probably can't see it very well. Let me put it in this all the way back here. But it's a three-tier cart, and yeah, it's very simple. It's white. I know they have other colors. I believe this one I got from Michael's. I'll have it linked down in the bottom. Now, the reason I got it at Michael's is because I wanted a a pickup station so i can just pick up i believe this was like 30 dollars and ikea has one as well but the one by my house didn't have the color that i wanted they only had like a black one and i didn't want a black one so i got it at michael's i believe yeah yeah it was michael's yes and but i can't remember if it was 35 or 30 dollars but i'll have a link down below so you guys can take a look um, if you have those coupons, I think you can apply them on this. I, for whatever reason, I didn't use any coupons, but anyhow, that's that. So the top tier, it will be having my machine and my pump. So let me share. So I'm going to be using my caddy that I got for my baby shower for my pump. And the reason is because I figured that like, I don't know, I might have to be pumping in the middle of the night or anything like that. I wonder if I can just, I wonder, I know if I can just like take it off and put it in front of me, like in my bed like this can be super close to me on the side but just in case i don't want to struggle i could just carry and take it out like quite quickly um and so in the bag i have three compartments um i have some of the pumping <laughs> cords i don't know what these are called guys i'm so sorry but i have that here on the side and then i have my spectra this is the one i'll be using hopefully it works out this is Spectra S1, I believe. Uh, a lot of people told me it's great. It works out for them. So I'm excited. The only reason I got blue, because they have a really cute pink one. It, this one lights up. I don't know if the pink one does, but this one does light up. So I end up going for the blue, which by the way, I bought myself. Um, then my insurance, for whatever reason, did not cover a pump and it's really frustrating. Now I have these, since I have not started pumping, I'm not sure what size I am still. Guys, the struggle of finding the sizes, if anybody done pumping, let me know if you guys was easy, but I've been just trying to test, you know, trying to use them on me, not, not use them like, but just trying to measure them. And I really don't know which one is my size and I'm getting a little bit like, frustrated i think i have to turn on the machine but i have the 24 and the 28 which i believe they come in the set anyways so and then it has the little um i don't know what this is called but that's like another piece of the this whole thing and so yeah i just have them in here again i actually purchased another one which is somewhere in here um another size and that oh yeah and i have that's true i am missing one of my medela I ordered one online and I have not received that yet. So I am missing a little, another pump that actually is from, it's from Medela Pump and it's a softer um, pump. I heard that those are a little bit better than the, cause these are very basic and classic. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's so concerning to me to see that they still have not figured out a way to make this more comfortable. I know they have the super expensive um, hands-free pumps some women like it some don't some find it a little uncomfortable still but it's just convenient because you just pop it in there you don't have to be connected to wires but it's just i'm so amazed how all this technology and we still use these like 
plasticky products. Like, really, you can't come up with better ones. Anyhow, so that's that. So that's gonna sit on the top. And then anything else that I need will go on the side, which I'll figure out in a second. So let's work on the second tier. I don't want to get this too, too crowded. Um, I actually got these little dividers from Target. No, not Target. Walmart. And then you can also get them from Ikea. I think the taller ones are from Ikea. And then these little short ones are from Walmart. Yeah, because for whatever reason, they were different. And I think Ikea is a little bit less expensive than Walmart. So... I think at the time I was just at Walmart and I just wanted to get some. But anyhow, I have all these different brands of nursing pads. I don't know how much I'm going to need. I have two more boxes, guys. I don't think I'm going to need as many, but I just threw all the nursing pads here just, you know, so I can have them and change them. I have some uh, last no. Did I say last no? Uh, I don't know what this is. Maybe last no too. And then the Medela, and then I think these are just for samples or something. These white ones that came randomly. So I have those two brands. Let me know if you guys had a specific one that you guys liked and that you used. But I'm going to have this down here as a nice reachable department. And then on this one, I'm going to actually throw in my wipes to pump. So I did get these. I didn't buy them full price i think i bought them off uh, like somebody was selling their a bunch of their supplies so i got the medela quick clean wipes they're like nine dollars online guys it's crazy um so i'm gonna just throw them in here and then i also have my nipple cream which i didn't know but this is somewhat handy since it's kind of expensive and i have the organic one from lasano yeah organic nipple care and but then i also have mama earth mama organic nipple butter so we're gonna try both and see which one works the best for my nipples. I hopefully either of them work. So I'm just gonna put it down here as well. Actually, I decided to put in the little, these two right next to each other. And then I'm gonna place this little basket that I got at Ross and I still have the tag. <laughs> this was $4.99, so it's just a little basket. Um, it's cute and I have my bags. So these are where I'm gonna put my milk. I'm using the um, Kindy system. So hopefully this works um, So yeah, you're gonna attach it to the pump and you can pump directly to the baggie So I have a few baggies here. Obviously, I'll refill it as I need it um, So I have those and then I also have these samples of the last no bags as well just to have in here you know, I don't want to waste any products. And then I have two Sharpies because I feel like I'm going to misplace one. So I have two Sharpies because you do have to date them. Now, I have a thing for Sharpies in plastic, I will say. Because um, even in the medical field, sometimes we don't use the Sharpies to date stuff. So I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase some labels, like just white labels, and just like stick them somewhere in here. I'm going to figure it out. Um, and then just right on top of it so it doesn't like seep through. Like I know it sounds bizarre, but I know you're not supposed. There's a uh, thing that you're not supposed to use certain sharpies or certain markers. So either I find a marker that I can use safely on these, or I'll do that where I'll add an, an extra layer of protection for the baggies. But don't like the fact that I want to use it because you know it's gonna go in the freezer and might get wet or anything like that. So I need to figure that out before I start. But We'll see if not i can do the cap too maybe like i'll figure it out but yeah you do have to date these so that you don't you know forget like they do expire um after freezing and all that good stuff so i have a few here i do have a lot more in the other area but for right now they're gonna just sit in here so that's that now i also do have the three-in-one breast therapy i'm actually gonna put these in one of the baggies on the top so let's open this up so i've heard that these things are great um for it's just like a breast therapy thing so i need to go in here and read how much i need to heat it up or anything like that there's two packs in here and then one goes in each little thing and then you can put it on top of your boobies and stuff um you can use them hot or cold i believe yeah, hot or cold. So either way, whichever you prefer um, to use in either to help you release milk or like to help with the so um, soreness. Um, I heard some of your ducts can get clogged if you're not pumping as often. So it can be kind of painful and so on. So I figured I would have something like this for um, 
to help me out. So I'm just gonna stick this on the side here. Another thing that I'm actually gonna put up there as well are these um, Tender Care Hydrogen um, Gel Pads that I got. Um, maybe I want them on the second floor. You know what, I'm gonna throw in these ones on top, the cleaning ones, so that they're reachable for the cleaning. And then I'm gonna do the hydro gels uh, where the nipple butter is at, so that way that goes in there. And I also have these Thera shells. This is also, again, if your nipples are too sore or anything like that, they're just something that you're gonna place on top to just help with the soreness so that your shirts and your bras don't bother you. Um, so yeah, and then it says health flat inverted nipples or engorgement, so that's great. Um, I believe they have some suction thing going on as well. I'm going to actually put in here like all the nipple care on the bottom. So I'm going to be honest and I have not actually sanitized any of the stuff. So they're not ready. I have to do that. Maybe I can do that today. Um, but I have extra tubing and stuff that you can use it for um, this as well. This is the Mandela sizes though. So I'm also going to be trying out which one works for me. I believe this one is size 24 and this one is a size 27 so i have other sizes as well so it's kind of like just convenient honestly um and i have some other tubing and stuff but i believe you can use these instead of the other ones like they're interchangeable um so i have that and i also have their tubing and i also have two of their little cups um to pump into um i might use this for something else or so but it's nice to have these little um, items. So for right now, I'm gonna leave them in the plastic bag because I do need to sanitize all that stuff. And then I do have a haka in here. I don't know how much I'm gonna use this as I'm not actually like breastfeeding my baby. I'm just pumping, but maybe I can apply this while I like set all this stuff up. I'm not sure, and I have two. So both of these are, I believe they're both Amazon hakas. So this is a little cover for it so that you can cover it for your milk. But I feel like, I don't know, this to me just looks like hazardous, like I might drop it. So I have two of them, um, which is nice. So I can maybe place those and set up my thing. Although I feel like I might drop, like spill these. I do want to purchase um, some of the, um, um, the circular ones that actually attach and you, you can like, absorb, you know, basically just gets your leakage. So I might invest on those instead of using these hot guys, but we'll see. So last layer, we're going to use this basket down here. Um, again, it's, it's, it's bigger than the other one, which is why it takes a lot more space. Um, you can't see that much, but there it is. So I wanted to put my diaper bag in the bottom just so that like everything's here. And if I need to grab and go, it's like bag is here. Let me grab it stock it up and then let's go and if not then again i can come back unload everything and just leave the bag because i feel like it's going to be easier so i don't know if i could just like put it in the back here and then add the basket like that it's gonna look a little little ghetto but it's all right <laughs> um because i wanted to add any extra parts that i have for my medulla pump that i don't like i need to wash these but i just don't want to crowd the top because i feel like it's going to get confusing i feel like this area can be somewhere i can just throw all my dirty parts and then wash them later on so i would want to put stuff like that and then i also have my hand pump in here so this is like the lancinel lancinel um hand pump that i still need to build but i need to wash all these things um i guess it comes with two sizes i think this is probably 24 and this is like 28 or 27 the common um sizing but um it's just it's kind of handy to have a henna pump because again sometimes maybe my my um my pump dies or something and i oh i just want to grab and go and just use a hand pump um so i did purchase myself one of these so that i can like again see i heard a lot of people recommending me to get a hand pump um, because they were it was just a handy kind of to go thing or what whatnot so that's gonna actually go in the bottom so that all my supplies are here reachable to me and I can decide what I want to use and this card can go anywhere so I can bring it to the living room or anything like that um, the beauty about the um, the spectra is it doesn't have to be connected so it has like a charger thing so right now is on um, and 
I have the connection in my room, so I feel like as I use it, I will connect it so that I know that it's been charged. But it's right next to where my um, the little formula thing is going to go as well. So the charger is there, so I'm just going to plug it and unplug it and put it back where it belongs because I want this to be like mobile and I don't want to be having cables or anything like that. So I do just want to charge it and use the pump or, you know, leave it charged and just pump through it, whatever. Um, so that's that. And then I did, I did forget that I have some of these, um, milk letdown collections. So I do have some of those, like the little circle ones. We'll see how these ones work. I don't know what brand they are. They were gifted to me. They were practically new. They never really used them, um, because they didn't produce a lot, a lot of milk. So they didn't really have letdown. So I have some of those. So again, all these need to be clean and sanitized, but I might have a few on the top. Once they're sanitized and then they're also going to go on the bottom because that helps, um, you know, just have all the supplies in one area. I don't have to have them everywhere and be looking for them. So again, I am missing like two things for my pumping station, but this is basically it. They're going to be parts and they're going to go on the bottom. Let me know if there's anything that you think that I need uh, because again, I've never pumped ever in my life, but... I've watched a ton of videos. I asked around what people used. And a lot of people actually just had a caddy and they had things like that. Like in here. Like my nipple butter is, you know, circular, but the, it had the tubies and stuff. And that's it. That's all I needed. And, you know, but I really just wanted to have everything really nice and set up. And also, I just, I don't know. I'm, get, I, I, I'm in the medical field and I always look for stuff like this that I know they're just going to help take care of, like, the issues if my nipples get sore which can happen it's very very common and you know the leakage for the middle of the night just to have just to be ready i don't know i feel like this is super handy another thing that i am gonna add i forgot to add it they're probably gonna go on the bottom is probably some like like napkins or tissues or anything like that just so that i can clean up if i need to just so they're handy so i'm gonna throw them somewhere in here um once i figure out what i'm gonna, I'm gonna use exactly to wipe if i just want to use some like um, little hand towels or whatnot to clean the milk and all that good stuff. So again, thanks so much for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Hopefully this is helpful. And again, any tips or concerns, or things not going to work, let me know down below because I'm always, um, looking for any advice from you guys. Uh, but uh, hopefully this is the, uh, very helpful for anybody who is also setting up their area and stuff. I just find it easy to have something that I can take around. I don't have to pump in one area only like I just want to pump everywhere in my house if I want to be laying in the living room watching tv or whatever like I want that ability I also figured I can pump behind me like where the chair is just come and sit here and pump but if I want to pump in the room I can so yeah so hopefully this works <laughs> and I think it will but anyways thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys on my next one bye